Hey Leos, welcome back to the channel, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be, oh man, my fingers. I washed my fingers and I didn't put no lotion on, so give me one second, Leos, um, to lotion my hands for y'all. You know, I need to look presentable and, you know, well-groomed and well-mannered, so some of my Leos might be like, hold on, hold on, bitch, I don't look right. Right? Checking people. Happy birthday, Leo. I'm super excited for Leo's, guys. The AA portal is approaching. Leo's, if you're excited about your birthday, guys, hit the like button. Definitely um, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Sorry, guys. Let me do my let me do my spiel. Hey, Leo's. Welcome back to the channel. Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is going to be your mid-month July reading uh, for the sign of Leo's. Happy birthday to you guys, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome. Leo's, let's let's get into your messages. Let's let's get into the vibes for Leo's. I'm feeling so good for you guys. So happy. This is the Moonology Tarot deck. <clears throat> I'm Leash, by the way. Alright, welcome to the channel, okay? Definitely uh, leave a comment down below if you're led to do so, which you're always open and always welcome to do so. Um, let's get into it for Leo's. What's going on? We got Venus retrograde. We got Pluto that's going to be going retrograde if it hasn't already. Uh, I think it might have gone retrograde already. Venus definitely has gone retrograde for sure. So Leo's, you may be, you know, switching up your look, switching up your appearance. Like, you know, Leo's is stepping out. Leo's, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all stepping out? Y'all stepping out. I just feel super happy. All right, so let's get into these messages for you guys, Leo's. Leo's, 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 mid month July. Happy birthday, Leo's. Happy fucking birthday, Leo's. Happy birthday. Let's see. All right. Surrender to the divine. All right, Leo's. Uh, we have what do you need to release? Waning moon. All right. And we have one more. So some of my Leo's could be like an August 3rd Leo. All right. And we have work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. All right, so I feel like the fearless has been feared no more. It's being feared no more. I feel like Leo's is ready to release that resentment. And Leo's is ready to go out and make a change here. Leo's is ready to go out and make our mark in the world. Leo's is ready to roar. We said it has a, a personal issue, reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. We just left Cancer season, so some of my watchers, uh, Leo's could be a Leo, uh, a Cancer Leo cusper. All right, or you could very well just have like a cancer moon, okay? Or you could be a cancer rising, Leo. Don't necessarily have to be. You guys could be dealing with the cancer. I'm not really feeling that. So I do feel like the shift of the cancerian energy that's shifting out. And we do also have um, the sun going into your sign as well, too. So Leo's, this is a great time. This is a great time. It is a breakthrough that's happening for a lot of my Leo's right now. A lot of you guys are gaining clarity here about... Um, prosperity is behind us. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. So some of you guys may be a Taurus rising. All right. Or Taurus. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm hearing Taurus rising. All right. Or you could be dealing with the Taurus. All right. Take it how it resonates. But, you know, Taurus is beauty. Right. I just... I Leo's. What are y'all got going on, Leo's? I think Leo's finally got the, got the cheat sheet. You're surrendering it to the divine. I feel like Leo's are just letting it go. Giving it to God. I feel like if something's coming in or something's happening, Leo's is like, God, this is your shit. You need to fix it. You need to deal with it. I'm not looking at it right now. It's kind of like a, a um, I, I hate to say it. Oh, man. A, a, a bad stepchild. So some of y'all could be dealing with a badass stepchild, okay? This is the Divine Abundance deck. Let's see what message we have for Leo's from the Divine Abundance deck. Ooh. Look, we have gratitude at the bottom of the deck. All right, Leo's is out there definitely giving gratitude. It wasn't in reverse of, just don't forget, guys, you know, give thanks for any little thing that's happening. If someone's getting you gas, you know, be grateful. If someone's paying for their gas, be grateful. Say thank you so much. You know, thank you, Lord, for their their, their willing hands to, you know, to grab that, that lever and put it in my car. You know, or if they're paying for the gas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So just remember to give gratitude for every little thing. It says, fill me with gratitude for all that you give. May you be a ve may I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. So exactly what I was saying. So wherever you go, whatever you're doing, just just don't forget to just stop for one second and just say, thank, thank you, God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that crosswalk sign turning, you know, 
green or whatever color turns right when I five one o'clock, right when I walked up to it. You know, thank you so much for the light changing for me. You know, whether you're in the vehicle, all right. So this is give that little um, sense of gratitude back to the universe because they're listening and they're 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 you know they want their horn to it just like you know you want your horn to the Leos. All right, we have liberation and extraordinary. We also have love and we have three more that flipped over. So six cards is coming out for you guys and we also have three that came out too. So it's giving me the, in, the um it's giving me the nudge of like three of cups, three of wands, celebrating, partying, living it up, having gatherings, going to gatherings, being invited to not only gatherings, maybe just being invited to events in the community or events that other friends are having or other people that you're now meeting or having. I feel like you guys are being pulled into a new direction here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio. Scorpio could have something to do with it. A Cancer could have something to do with it. I'm hearing Aquarius too could have something to do with it. Taurus for sure could have something to do with it. Don't necessarily have to. But it's a good energy for you guys to be in. Some of you guys are not quite there, but some of you guys are definitely in that liberation energy. So we have liberation. It says the depths and fear still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. So some of you guys have made these changes and you're just like questioning yourself like, damn, am I really... Is this really me? Is this really what I got to look forward to? Like, am I really doing things differently? And it's like, yeah, it's okay to be accepting of that energy, right? Because you are changing. Uh, you know, nobody's doing, we shouldn't continue to still be doing hard work to remain in one position. We should be doing hard work to elevate ourselves and graduate to new levels, new heights, right? Um, so always feel liberated and never, it's good to like look back and, you know, remember where you came from essentially, but it's like, don't question yourself. You see how far you guys have come. You see all the obstacles and hurdles that you guys have gotten over and dealt with and made it out the mud, out the slums. So, uh, so dragonflies could be an indicator for you guys that this change is coming in for you guys. So some of you guys may still be having a little bit of um, hiccups here and there with your finances is what I'm hearing. You guys may still be having some hiccups here with a little bit of communications, maybe some decisions that you guys need to make. You haven't fully set uh, set your heart on one particular thing or one destination or whatever have you. So I feel like there is a little bit of back and forth there. But for the most part, you know, remember to love yourself, respect yourself and others. You know, always act out of love. And that Leos, you definitely are extraordinary, okay, in everything that you do. People, places, and things always remain in a gratitude mind state, in a gratitude of energy. That's probably not a word, but go with it. A gratitude of energy, right? And that will also make you not only feel liberated, but you'll be liberating your angels and your guides, okay? Whatever you guys subscribe to. We have love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation, only love itself. So this is you guys not idolizing material things. And now, you know, understanding, I'll put that back up there for you guys. Sorry, that was kind of quick. And understanding that, you know, to do things out of purity for your highest good reaps the best reward, the ultimate reward. Because the God is going to give you back things out of love, which is as high as purity, as, as natural as form. Right? It's unwearying, it's un, unchanging way, right? It's undying, right? The love. It's, it's always full of fulfillment. It's always exactly what you want as much as you want and as much as you need when you need it. So you guys are now understanding that surrendering to the divine grants you this salvation. It grants you, it grants you guys this form and essence of liberation. So this is beautiful. So you guys could have new love coming in, new partnerships. I see new opportunities, networking opportunities. I see you guys going out and dining and having a good time, drinking at bars and things of that nature. So it's really nice. Do it responsibly, though. We have extraordinary. There is a wild and impetuous uniqueness that you deserve to be honored. You know what I'm saying? Peacocks. They're very extraordinary. I love the way the peacocks, you know, spread their, their cocks, per se, right? Their wings and their feathers and how they form into this beautiful, mesmerizing uh, for, it's, it's, to me, it's kind of like a facade because it feels and looks like it's not really real, but it's really them. So you guys, someone could be questioning if what they're seeing from you is really you. And I feel like you guys need to always present yourself in a peacock type of energy. And I feel like most of my Leos do. I mean, come on, Leos, you know, 
You know what I'm saying? Leo's is out here looking good, smelling good, feeling good. Even on the bum days, Leo is still a, a, a hot cake, right? A hot commodity. So it's like, this is what you guys are in. And I feel like maybe someone else never seen you in your extraordinary energy. And maybe they haven't, right? Maybe this is true. Well, I feel like a lot of the Leos now with the 8-8 portal and the energy shifting in Leo's favor, okay? I feel like this is like a, a energy boost. You guys, confidence is going to be regaining confidence. You're going to be regaining love and self-security within yourself. You guys are also going to be feeling liberated by doing this as well, too. You guys are definitely making some changes to your wardrobes here. Possibly, um... I see some Botox here. Someone could be trying out like new cosmetic things, whether this is makeup or I'm seeing Botox for sure, but definitely some new shoes, okay, and new clothes for sure. And that dress is gorgeous. What is that, a red dress or is it like a lavender? It's not really like a lavender color. It's like a maroon or something like that. It's really gorgeous, whoever's dress that is. We have clearing, yes. We have released it and let it go. We got self-love, absolutely, and we have limitless. See what I'm saying, Leo's? Come through. We got clearing. As true as true offerings arise, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mind, mind, mind to God's, God's, God's. Such freedom. What did I just say? I didn't even flip these cars over. Y'all just seen me flip these cars over. And I just was picking up the energy here because I feel like this is what you guys, this is, you guys, like I said, you got the blue, you got the blue cheek. What? The blue cheek? Blue sheep, I don't know. Someone's counting blue sheep, seeing blue sheep, okay? Whatever could be resonating, not resonating. So maybe someone of you guys is looking, shopping for a baby boy. All right, congratulations. Um, but it, nevertheless, I feel like you guys has got the blue, the blueprint. You guys, that's what I was trying to say. Um, you guys is getting it. You guys have earned or under what? You guys have understood what is required and how this thing works. You know, how this relationship with God works, okay, with your higher self, with your ancestors, and really how it feels. Like I said, it's very liberating. When you clear that out and you realize that, you know, this job doesn't pay me, my money comes from God. So whatever, you know, Scott says, Ben says, or Mark says, okay, I'm hearing Frank too. So Frank may be someone's husband's or partner or something like that, or uncle, but Frank... Listen, they, nobody's giving a damn about what any of y'all are saying here because someone realized how extraordinary the divine is and how extraordinary it is to be in that energy of uh, submission to God. And when God works through you and you guys choose to do things that you're meant and called to do. All right, we got self-love. Let the wall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child, I long to take care of myself like never before. This is what I'm saying here, Leos. Y'all, y'all, y'all putting y'all first. If y'all got a partner, I feel like Leos, y'all are giving, but I feel like y'all are giving just enough. Not too much, not too little. It's like just enough. It might be slightly just underfilled. You know what I'm saying? You know how you could fill a cup up? Look, my hand's itching. You know how you could fill a cup up just to the brim? Well, I feel like, Leo's, y'all filling that bitch up just under the brim. I feel like y'all are just giving just enough, which is beautiful energy, to be honest. Um, you know, it's an equal, you know, I feel like it's a balance. Between, you know what I feel like you feel, Leo's? Even if your partner may view it as something different, this is not that. So you're, this is what Leo's actually doing. Leo's giving, Leo's having an equal give and take relationship with you and with God and with Leo's self. So Leo's is understanding that, yes, to have a healthy, happy, successful relationship, I do need to give in. But Leo's is not giving all the way in. Leo's is not over pouring nobody's cup. Leo's is not even over pouring their own cups. And I feel like Leo's is really getting in the energy or getting understanding the balance of things. So some of you guys could be learning, uh, getting better with balancing your check, money managing, okay, keeping track of finances, even when you don't even have like um, the paper trail necessarily in front of you guys. I feel like you guys are also balancing out um, credit too. So some of you guys are doing credit repair and credit work and understanding how that works to the p give and take with the credit is the same thing. How you got to, you know, it's essentially a balance. Well, really what credit is an underbalance because we got to stay within 20%, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you guys are getting the hang of it is what I'm saying here. You guys are getting the hang of self-care. How often should you groom yourself, when you should groom yourself, whether you should dress down and when you need to go ahead and dress up and, you know, express more abundance to yourself by doing so. 
I feel like you guys are just being healthy right now all the way around the board. We lastly have limitless. All right. <clears throat> See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything, anyone. And you see what I'm saying? You guys are understanding now. You guys are now approach. Uh, your guys approach to people is completely different to what it once used to be. You guys are not getting short temper. You guys are not getting nasty. You you guys are not going off the chart with people when you when you intercept certain energies because you now understanding that wait a minute. This might be a motherfucking angel right here that I'm entertaining and talking to. So I feel like y'all are now understanding how the game goes. It's, well, I, I, I hate to, forgive me, God. I hate to say game because it's really not a game. But essentially, you guys are just learning what this thing is love, what the thing love really is. And what it, fit, what it really is like to act, be, and demonstrate extraordinariness through the acts of love. Through the acts of kindness for other people. So you guys could be volunteering yourselves, volunteering services to, um, I don't know, I'm here in food banks. You could be helping out in the community with whatever may be taking place. Just trying to get more involved and donating your time. And just getting in the energy of giving to others so that things can be given to you. Preferably from the universe, which again is going to be limitless here because it's going to come in different types of forms, right? It's going to come through jobs. It's going to come through opportunities. It's going to come through winnings, whether that's winning the raffle at your job, whether that's winning the raffle at the casino, whether that's winning, you know, a scratch off or winning, you know, a pick three or pick two or pick four or whatever you're picking, right? It's like the energy is you guys are seeing how the universe gives and take, you know, it's kind of like that this is what i'm getting here you guys are getting it i told you this is beautiful this is beautiful energy and i love it guys remember be grateful for every little thing all right every little thing all right and i feel like doing the smallest things for other it you guys are realizing how rewarding it feels to you guys you guys are liberated from it all right these are already shuffled this is the uh Light Sears, let's get a few cards from here. We are not going to be here long, Leos. We just want to see what type of beauty. Look at that. The ace of coins at the bottom of the deck. You see what I'm saying? You guys are realizing that when you play, you see, you got the, you got it. The king of swords, you guys have gained the knowledge and the clarity of how this thing works. You could have birds that communicates through you guys or crows. If it's not necessarily um, crows, it's just many various types of birds that may communicate with you guys. Your spirit guide or ancestors or angels could be uh, owls or the crow, okay? So, but anyway, you guys are understanding here. You guys have gotten, the, you guys have, um, a lot of you guys have gotten a lot wiser, a lot more knowledgeable about things. Some of you guys are investing more into your knowledge and educational, um, educational things that's going to uh, elevate you guys and escalate you guys, whether this is certifications or some of you guys are just looking into taking like a crash course or a short course at a local community college. Um, but most of you guys, I do see you guys looking at online options as well too. All right, but either way, I do see the Ace of Pentacles coming in for my Leos. Okay, this is more uh, abundant opportunities. Okay, I feel like these this acts of love, then random acts of I'm hearing random acts of kindness. So you guys could be just out practicing this random acts of kindness. You guys could be just like testing this out to see if it works for yourself. And when you guys see that this does actually work, you're gonna be like, holy smokes! Like this is this is the this is it. Like this the plug. Right? I feel like you guys are now I feel like you you plugged in with God. Like you like you plugged up. Because you guys now know how to how it works, like and how it does and how things happen. But we got the ace of pentacles, Leo's money, 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 money. Let's see what flipped over for you guys. All right, you ready? Oh my god, Leo's. Look <laughs> Are you kidding me, Leo's the sun? This guy is going to make you guys, I'm telling you, I'm getting the energy of liberation. Again, the hands are out. You guys are remembering to be grateful at all times when it's rain, when it's sunny, when it's cloudy. I feel like y'all are walking outside like, God, thank you for this amazing day. And it's raining cats and dogs. Hell coming down. It's a tornado right behind you, two blocks around. And you, you're just grateful. You're just grateful. I, Leos, this is beautiful. I love this energy for you guys. But this is you coming out real strong. So that's how I know I'm speaking to my Leos, all right? So this is a lot of sun sign Leos, but you could have 
uh, Leo energy anywhere in your chart. This is a general reading, by the way. Uh, I know we're like 20 minutes in, but it could resonate with you. If not, check your other placements in your chart. Uh, next out, Leos, we have the Four of Swords. Some of my Leos are going on a vacation. Some of you guys are coming back from a vacation, okay? Once you go on this healing, either it's a healing retreat or it's just a simple vacation, right? Could be a couple days. Could be staycation too, right? Just some time to yourself. And once you guys get this time to yourself, you're going to feel more energetic. Some of my Leos could be going for massages. I definitely see, you know, um, like hair is getting done, nails getting done. If you're a masculine energy, then you're getting your hair cut, shape up, retwisted, whatever you got going on, okay? But I love this energy here. You guys are beautiful right now. And once you guys mask and unmask and groom yourselves and get yourselves back, uh, you're going to look nice. Right? You're going to look real nice. Next up, we have Temperance. Oh, our angel Michael is right here with you guys, like holding down the fort. Look at him. He's like, look at my proud earth angel out there, balancing him and herself out. Masculine, feminine energy, playing it, play, like, just, just, just down pack. Just got the, just got the game on smash. Leo's just got the game on smash. And angels are happy. They're proud of you guys. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sag, okay? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. We have Piscean energy coming out here, too. This is my Leos thinking twice. And, like, take... Oh, Leos, you're good, okay? You're good. If you're wondering about your partner... If they're ha if you make them happy, if they're satisfied with you, you, you're good. You guys are perfect. You guys are just adorable together. Okay, you guys have a lot of people that stare at you guys when you're out in public. I feel like you guys are very uniquely different, but very so much alike. Is kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like you know someone could be a little bit light skinner than the other. Someone could be older or younger than you. it could be an age difference. Is what I'm trying to say here, Leos. All right, it could be a Gemini, it could be a Pisces. Don't necessarily have to have to. Uh, it could be anything, right? It could be any person. But I feel like this is something that you're taking your time to come in. This is also something that may have taken this time to come in for some of my Leos as well too. But I feel like it's coming in. All right, it's coming in. If this person is not here, they're coming in, all right? We have the Five of Wands coming in. So this is you guys, you know, baiting yourself up, right? You know, this is Leo's kind of like being a little insecure a little bit. Like, am I smelling okay? Is my teeth clean enough? You know, is, is my shirt too wrinkled? Uh, you, Leo's, you're fine. You're perfect. Like, the right one, when it's meant to be, it will be. So, stop beating yourself up. Next up, we have, yeah, the Five of Pentacles. And some of my Leos, this is what you came from. The Five of Wands and the Five of uh, Pentacles. So, this is some of my Leos. You know, you could be giving, getting just enough to take care of what you need to take care of. And because it's a little stressful for you guys. Because I feel like Leos are ready to have abundant. Leos is ready to have more than enough. And I feel like that's going to be coming in from my Leos right here with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look, Eight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, it's coming in. So it could be a new job opportunity coming in. You guys could be waiting to hear back from someone. And also, um, so if you guys are waiting for like, uh, I don't know, funds or financing for like, I'm seeing like demo work or repair work, or maybe this is just funds that you guys may need because you may have had some conflict here with something here whether this is a bill you may have gotten behind on something you could have been sick a little bit and which have caused you to be delayed on you know making earnings which would be delayed on your you know your pay right which is going to be delayed and reflect that on your bills um, but I do feel like there is going to be a solution here that's going to come in for you guys here it could be a new option a new um, a new work opportunity here or it could be you guys maybe getting um, more hours here or okay it could be another building that may need some more help or work or whatever something like that I don't know um, but yeah ten of wands all right ten of wands is coming out here all right and lastly we have the magician beautiful energy <laughs> Beautiful Leos. So some of you guys are wondering if your manifestations is going to be happening, if it's going to come in. Like, God, do y'all hear me? Did y'all hear what I asked for? Did y'all hear what I said that I wanted? Right? I'm kind of getting that. All right, Leos, no worries. Um, I heard you got mail. So what is that? Uh, Meg Ryan and uh, Tom Hanks, I think. Um, so some of you guys could be watching. You got mail, okay? 
oh wow look temperance is coming out again spirit is like patience so look if you guys are encountering some type of rough patch leos don't worry this is god testing your faith all right your faith is being tested right now what's on uh the four of swords for my leo spirit please and thank you so don't worry your your faith is being tested here yeah look <clears throat> three of pentacles it's coming in guys Whatever you're praying for, whatever you're asking for to work out, if you're praying for a solution for something here, all right, you're sleeping on it, thinking about it. Uh, look, we got the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It's beautiful, Leos. Uh, we got the Hermit and the Ten of Wands again. The Hermit and the Ten of Wands. It could be an older person. Okay, it could be a Virgo. Okay. But if it's not a Virgo, then this could just be you guys, you know, gaining... Like I said, wisdom with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is you guys learning how to educate yourself on something here, gaining more resources. Um, the Ten of Wands is to me is like, yes, it could represent moving or whatever like that, but it also could be the sense of gaining some type of knowledge. You see, she has one wand lit up, and she has the other knowledge and information on her back, on her behind her. So this could be you guys picking up a lot of information, a lot of knowledge at many places that you have stumbled across, you know, throughout your journey. And all of these are just stepping stones and building blocks, Leo's, which is going to lead you guys to the Nine of Cups. <clears throat> so if something didn't work out, then, yeah, you've learned lessons. You guys are learning new ways or multiple ways to obtain your wish, to obtain a dream, to obtain some type of fulfillment here. Maybe you guys thought that it was just one way that you can obtain something here to get your wishes granted, to get your wishes fulfilled. And others of you, now you're seeing here that, wait a minute, I can, you know, invest in that. I can invest in this. I got this option here too. I could do all four of these or I could do all seven of them, right? And ultimately, you know, or this could be you guys, you know, the old spaghetti trick, you know, throwing a noodle to the wall and seeing what sticks. And that's absolutely fine too. But remember, what is meant for you will be for you. So just pray about it, you know? Oh, wow. Look, we got the fool card that fell out down here on the magician. Okay. Some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone in the past that could have been very much so very manipulative. Okay. Over you guys could have been a little possessive. Um, I'm seeing like slightly on the toxic side as well, too. Um, so you guys could have been dealing with someone like much so like this, but, uh, I feel like you guys are getting the clue now. All right, so I don't feel like Leos are clueless anymore. I feel like Leos are getting, you know, understanding what's the, what how. I feel like you guys are understanding per, what was purposely done and what was innocently done. And I feel like you guys are, you know, you guys were a little naive for sure, Leos, but that's the past. And I feel like you guys have cleared out and grew and developed self-love and love for not only yourself, but yet others in your, your community. And you guys are now realizing the limitless possibilities that you have with creating with the universe. As we see here, you guys are taking a risk on God. You guys are gambling on the right things now. You guys are putting your, you know, putting your faith, hope, love, strategy, planning, prayers, obstacles, bills, whatever in God's hand. And you guys are like, you work it out. You work it out. Here, you take it. I'm, I'm not dealing with it. You could deal with it. Here you go mailbox full okay i'm gonna send it again uh yeah look the ten of cups is falling out here i love it ten of wands ten of cups so this is you guys like i said it could have been that you guys had a lot of experiences here that kind of left you guys like this right a lot of relationships or it could have been one specific person in particular that left you guys like this you know you may have separated from this person or moved away from this person but some of you guys you're going to be meeting someone that could have relocated this person is going to just have been moving in the area or just it, either they're from out of the states right like out of the country or this is someone that's moving into your town into your community is what i do see you may see this person while you're at a bar dining or having drinks or happy hour or something of that nature what's the eight of coins oh wow ten of pentacles This is someone that you're going to meet and connect with that will have 
it will have the opportunity to go long distance. Okay, go to distance is what I'm seeing here. This could so this is very well a strong relationship or connection that can lead to marriage. Leo's is what I'm seeing here. At first, you're not going to see this here because you're not going to see this Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is sideways. Why is it sideways? Let's ask. Why is the Ten of Pentacles sideways for Leo's? Ooh, Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. I feel like there's going to require some hard work and a lot of strategy, a lot of planning here. But I feel like once you make the course, and look, Eight of Pentacles again. Once you guys make the course correction here, I feel like this is what's going to happen. Yeah, the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. You guys are going to fall in love with this new position, this new opportunity that you guys are going to be gifted with, granted with, okay? You're going to develop a newfound happiness for it as well, too. There, you could be meeting uh, a person that you're either going to do business with or you're going to have, it's going to be a relationship or a destined connection here to work with someone that's going to require you guys to, you know, adhere and, you know, take in and learn and, you know, strategize with this person to gain Ten of Pentacles. What's the hangman? What is the hangman for Leo's? Okay, we have, wow, the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Leos, do you see this shit? Leos, do you see this? Uh, We got Jeezy seeing it all that was actually playing in the background. All right, so this is someone that's well informative, okay? This is someone that's traveled, that's smart. If they're not traveled a lot, I feel like this person wants to travel a lot. This could require you to travel a lot here, but with this travel, you guys are going to be gaining all sorts of wisdom and knowledge and information, networking, pentacles, 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 pentacles in many different formats, okay? This is new partnerships. This is new people that's going to lead to new opportunities. This is communication with someone about something that can communicate with someone else to bring this ace of pentacles in. This is some, this is, this is opportunities, Leos. You see this? This, this looks like a pot of gold. Ah. And it's going to like fall in your lap with the hangman, right? It's going to fall in your lap. So you're going to run into someone, Leo's, that's going to need whatever services that you're good at. Yep, you're not going to see it coming. Can't see any energy here. You're not going to see this, right? But pay attention. Keep your ears to the ground. All right, Queen of Swords energy. Listen and be cautious not cautious but be wise how you respond how you reply is what i'm getting here don't sleep on the opportunity here is what i'm getting here it's giving cinderella vibes wasn't cinderella like uh, uh like froze in the castle or some shit or like in a deep at three three threes on a timer was in a deep sleep in the castle or some shit like that so don't be don't be too sleep be woke all right be woke leos don't miss this all right, we have the moon at the bottom of the deck, and we have the nine of wands. Yeah, <clears throat> be on the lookout for this shit. You see him looking out? He looking out. Be on the lookout for this energy, Leos. Don't sleep on this shit. Do not, do not, uh, what's her name? Is it Snow White in the Seven Doors? Yeah, don't Snow White this shit, all right? This is Snow White energy right here. You got this. And remember, be grateful when this shit happens, all right? Whatever this is, whether this is... It's not giving me love, but it is giving me uh, Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this is just what you've been wanting. Uh, an opportunity, someone to give you a shot. Someone to see you for you and what you could bring to the table. I feel like Leo's your Gary get that shot. Um, what is... Well, oh, wow, we got free spirit. To be free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. Exactly what we talked about. Loving without conditions, being mindful of how you interact with people, how you approach people, how you view people, how you see people, how you respond to people. You're just changing everything up. We got intuition. And if you haven't, you need to. So you don't miss this. Uh, trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. 
So, whatever direction you've been feeling like spirit's been pulling you towards, go with it. Go with the flow, Leo. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Some of you guys, you guys could be winning something here for your birthday as well, too. Um, I don't know why I'm here in an auctioneer. So, some of my Leos may be going and bidding on a car, okay? Buying cars, buying vehicles. All right, so some, some of you guys are flipping, flipping. And look, love. It says, love, live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. And this is what Leos is doing. Leos like, doctor, love, doctor. Dr. Love's in the building. Dr. Love's in the building. So y'all are using y'all feng shui energy to move people in the direction that you want them to move. Okay, I feel like this is business wise. So I feel like Leo's what I'm what this is what this means is let's clarify this ace of pentacles for you guys. What this means is but you got ace of pentacles twice, Leo's, okay? Ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles. I'm hearing double, double, what is that? Double mint gum? Double, double mint fun or some shit. So it could be double. All right. So you could have opportunity to earn double, make double. Oh, you're going to have opportunity to make double than what you was making. So if you made 80000 a year, this is an opportunity to make $160,000 a year. If you made $40,000, you are going to make 80000 You see what I'm saying? If it was fifty, you're going to make a hundred. If it was a hundred, it was two. You say you, you want to, there's potential here. There is potential here. All right, but we're going to clarify this Ace of Pentacles right here. What's this Ace Sphere Leo's? As I told you, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Leo's, there's an opportunity here. It's double or nothing. Some of you guys may be triple. But this is great. Damn, Leo's in at the bottom of the deck. We got the Empress. So this could be a feminine energy. And look, this is someone that's like... Man, I can't find the right person. I can't find exactly what I need. And here comes Leo. So, Leo's, you could be the emperor or empress, or this person is this empress, nine of pentacles energy, and this person is not finding what they're needing. And you are what they're needing. You're going to fall right in someone's lap, Leo's, or someone's going to fall right in your lap. Yep, you're the missing piece. You are the missing piece. And behind that, damn, Leo's, is the t <laughs> damn it, <laughs> damn it, Leo's the two of cups. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, so you're gonna. So this is a, a a connection. This is a connection with either love or work. Okay, but I feel like most of you guys, this is a contract. This is some type of commitment. Someone also does want to give you a commitment. If you haven't met this person, when you meet this person, this person is going to, you guys may not see each other at first, right? Ten of wands, the lovers, ten of cups. You may not see each other at first. So, you know what I'm saying? This person is going from like rags to, you know, riches or something like that here. So you may not see each other at first is what I'm saying here. Not saying that you're raggedy, Leo, but you get what I'm saying. Right? This business is going to grow and prosper. Whether you two are, end up becoming one or you end up finding love. This person may know someone and that may be the person that you fall in love with. So it may not actually be the person. Right, that's given or bringing the Ace of Pentacles. This is the gatekeeper, essentially. Right, this is the person that's going to communicate with you to get you in. Once you get in, then there's someone here, lovers, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, something that you pray for. You're not going to see it at first. This is what I'm picking up. All right, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. I love it, Leos. Let's get <clears throat> Kipper. Kipper, Kipper, Kipper. This is supposed to have been like a quick, uh, mature woman. So definitely could be an older woman. You could be an older woman. Could be an older male. You may be the older male here. This, again, may be the gatekeeper too. Because notice I sat next to the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, mature woman. So this could be the gatekeeper. For others of you guys, if you're waiting for communication here about maybe assistance or something like that here, I feel like it will be an older woman here. That will be assisting you guys, okay? And there will be a male that you communicate with, but you're going to meet and sit down. It's going to be an older woman that's going to actually be given the finalization here. Alright, so I do see that coming in. Alright. 
anything else for Leo's, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Oh, marriage. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at the house at the bottom of the deck, Leo's. You're going to move in together. If you're wondering if you're going to move in, yes, children could be a factor. So this person may be trying to figure out how the move in may work, how you may, um, you know, work with the child here. Someone may be having to go to court over child support here. Okay. Adjudication and child. All right. Someone could be doing paternity testing as well, too, is what I'm hearing. All right. And seeing. Something this fall. Ooh. Oh, Leos. Some of you guys may get pregnant too, so be careful. <laughs> if you are not expecting that, then... Shit, Leos. I'm trying to get this card without freaking falling. Damn it. And the reason why I'm not on camera, guys, is because I have a sty, and the shit is horrible. So, I dare not show my face. <laughs> It's really getting on my nerves. It's super annoying. We have courtship. So there's going to be a lot of dating. A lot of you two can't keep your hands off each other too. I do see that. Uh, so you may get pregnant right away. Okay. There's a new pathway here to open up. And you guys is on a new pathway. All right. Someone's going to be concerned here because they're seeing that you're not doing what they thought you was going to be doing. Yeah. Someone thought you was going to be in poverty, Leo. No. Never. Never imprisonment is at the bottom of was well, was in the deck when I split the cards. Let's get you guys one of these real fast, Leos. Healing family issues and express your love, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and we have go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay? So you know, go ahead and tell that girl you like her. Go ahead and, you know, drop that note on her desk. But what I would do personally is I was I would order some flowers. Order some flowers. You know, if y'all work together, send them to send them to her, right? And say your secret admirer that you see every day when you walk by, and describe something in the job. I don't know. So give this person kind of like a clue or a hint. Not that they don't know, cause I feel like they do know, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Or shit, fuck it. Say it was from you. You know what I'm saying? Grow a pair. Yeah, don't stop. Don't stop. And you know what I'm saying? If she like him, she like him. If she don't, she don't. She got some beautiful roses or whatever you said. Bouquet. Meditation brings answers. So definitely go ahead and get that honing on. Right? With the meditation there. Communicate with your angels. Damn, they just smacked all these up my hand. We have compromise here. So this is all that's dealing with the court situation. Maybe having some type of issues with your you know your parent your baby mom baby dad whatever yep we got remain positive okay just always be the bigger person act out of love remember you elevate it uh we have extra angels and look for a sign all right so again meditate communicate let them know what you need how you need it and what you're not happy with and they will make the big happy changes for you guys is what i'm hearing big happy changes is on the horizon for you guys okay and definitely go with your intuition so if it's a no it's a no all right so i feel like there was something else right 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 oh shit <clears throat> leo's 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 yeah don't go to war with someone someone wants you to act out of rage and anger and it's like we're so past that like who does that so so you could be dealing with someone that's super petty here this five of wands five of pentacles energy especially if you share children with this person um something could have happened friday or today's Friday, okay? It might be like your, your special day. We have baby in the reverse, okay? And we have three of a kind. So, Leos, again, I did say paternity test. With the baby being in the reverse and the three of kind, um, this is kind of giving me like, you know, three some type of energy, but it's also giving me that there's another energy here. So, someone may have had, you know, may have be communicating with someone here. All right, you may discover this on a Friday. Yeah, we got the bright light and we have stable. But don't worry, Leos, you're going to move forward here. You guys are going to regain your stability here, okay? So if you're wondering about that, don't worry, you will. God is going to take care of you, your favorite, all right, and protect it. And what you're deserving of will, you know, will return to you or come to you. We got Aries here, all right? 
and then we have spool me so there could be an aries that's coming in for some of my leos that's going to spool you all right we got dark side though here at the bottom of the deck we have i don't give a fuck and we also have loud mouth so i feel like this is this past person that could be like trying to ruin and drag your name through the mud okay because you're you're not bending to their needs or their will or whatever but someone wants to claim that they do care but they do shady under the table stuff um yeah watching you again trying to make sure that you're not doing what they yeah and friday again all right what else for leos and we gotta get out of here All right, I'm sorry. I thought something flipped over, but apparently it didn't. But yeah, this person is tripping. This person could be an Aries. It could be a Virgo for some of you guys. Um, it could be a Sag for some of you guys. So take it how it resonates. There is two different energies here. But for most of you guys, this is someone else energy that's trying to come in and trying to come through. So this is someone that's trying to hold on to your energy here. <clears throat> trying to see what you're doing, how you making money, like worrying about what you what you do, like. But we have light side here. So I feel like someone's just trying to retaint your energy, your hard work. We do have a Libra here. We have a Cancer here. We have a lie. Okay, we have a Queen here. All right, so it could be this Libra, this Cancer that you guys are finding out that this person lies. Or you may be the person that lies to them. I don't know. But somebody found the one. I found the one. Or they feel like they found the one. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to see it at first, but someone's going to see it. And we got Monday and we got hoes. So this is just giving me like someone lied about where they were going for the weekend or what they were doing with the weekend. <clears throat> Not my throat. Um, so this is just giving me the energy that someone lied about them doing something with, maybe with their family or with their friends. But really this person with some hoes here. All right. I'm seeing like Thursday through Sunday, Thursday through Monday, Friday to Monday. OK, this person may have missed work because of hoes. This person may have been late to work because of hoes. This person may have been late to do something that they're supposed to do for maybe you or their family. And it was due to a hoe because this person was, you know, doing something they wasn't really supposed to be doing. Or maybe they was. Take out resonate. What was this whole shit? What's Monday and hoes? What's Monday and hoes? I gotta get out of here, y'all. What's Monday and hoes? We have queen in the reverse. And we have no more chances. So, okay, exactly. Someone's going to get caught up here. Yeah, and come back to me. So, this Aries could get caught up. Yeah, look. I like them all. It's giving Drake energy. I don't know why. But it's like, how you get them? How you get them is how you lose them? Isn't that what the saying? I don't know what the saying is. I don't fucking know. But if this person, if you got with this person, and this person was like, a player type of energy then it's a strong possibility that that's what they still do i want you so badly okay it's flipping over here and these cards flipped over a hose so someone trying to cover up the day not still a hoe all right because these cards flip right over when i try to show you all i want you so badly all right and somebody may think that you don't let go of hoes or have hoes i don't know what you want yeah so because someone likes them all someone's like i don't have time for your confusion for your lies for your illusions i'm on to bigger and better things here i may i got new opportunities here this person could be trying to affect your work i want to start over yeah someone wants to start over but they still got hoes or is a hoe or round hoes or do hoes or something with hoes I'm not over you. So this is a past person here that's maybe addicted to whole shit here. And it's like this person, you know, still wants to be with hoes but don't want to be with hoes. Like, yeah, this new person arouses you, okay? Or are you arousing yourself with new energy? Like, no, I'm on a big, better shit, dog. Like, I'm good. Yeah, I see life so differently now. And I, regardless of how attractive you may think that you find me, which I know I am attractive, by the way. But fuck all that. It's what it's giving me. Because, you know, someone still got whole issues, whole tendencies, hoes is around, hoes is nearby, they, they close, like, they in their phones, they in their DMs, like, whatever. What's the crystal for Leo's here? Let's get out of here. This is supposed to be a short bonus. But Leo's, it's your birthday, so I love you guys, Leo's. So, and I feel like this may be what y'all doing, too. Like, you know, I'm doing me for my birthday season, like, 
Uh, so you might actually be glad that this shit came out because you like, what? I've been trying to fuck this nigga for a minute anyway, and I only been not fucking him on the strength of your little bitch ass. But now that I find out, yeah, okay, the bitch, make that wax appointment because he getting fucked tonight. And I feel like that's the energy y'all in. Um, we have Titanium Rainbow, and we have Epitate. Uh, yeah, it says multifaceted, faceted. Faced it. I can't never say this word. Uh, there are many layers and dimensions to the situations or persons you are asking about. See what I'm saying? Y'all understand that this person is makes shit too complicated. Everything is always extra. This person can never be straightforward. It's always a runaround. It's always something new, something different. But I don't know. But I feel like you guys are over it. Some of my leaders, especially whoever got caught up. Um, we have progress, not the perfection. It says, don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you have come and all that you learned. Did not say that earlier, Leo. Sorry for snapping, uh, slapping the table like I did. It's probably going to ring your ears. I'm so sorry. I do apologize in the late-ass advance. But, yeah. Nevertheless, this is what I said earlier, Leo's, And this is what y'all energy is. This is what I like. I mean, I mean, fuck the past person. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a past person that's trying to come back. You feel me? And I feel like you guys is about to meet someone new or y'all are already with this new person. And if you not, they about to come in. Um, Let's see. Let's go here for y'all real quick. Who's this new person for Leo's? Who's this new person? Who's this new person for Leo's that's coming in? Let me get y'all an appropriate shuffle. My kings and my motherfucking queens. Yeah, masculine looking mangs is looking hella good. All right. If you dyed your hair, I'm seeing like a blonde or something like that or like a, a reddish color. It looks really good. You look good. Stop questioning yourself. All right. Well, who is this person coming in for Leo's? What is this per this new person energy? Who is this lover coming in for Leo's? Well, shit. Someone is going to make you happy. For some of y'all, they could have Leo placements. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Spirit said, don't worry about it. Just wait for it. Six of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that this is something that you're going to be happy about. The world is going to be a new cycle. This person is going to show you new things that you ain't never done, seen, or felt before. Ten of Pentacles. This person is very, very stable or very good with finances here. Or are you both going to come together? It's going to become the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords and we got the Four of Swords. Someone is wise, mature, very diligent, very savvy, savvy, business savvy, and street savvy. I feel like this person knows how to get things done and they sleep. All right, or this, or this relationship, this connection is going to make you feel secure and safe. This person is going to defend you, protect you, protect this relationship like no other. See that Queen of Swords? She's like, I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would. So this person is going to be very loyal, very honest with you. They're going to be very open with you. Nothing is going to be hidden. Nothing's going to be in the dark. This person is going to let you know what it is up front. Yep, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, okay? They may not disclose and communicate that they are, you know, extremely um, financially secure or financially stable. And this could cause a little hesitation, too, with this person here with the Four of Pentacles here. But I feel like this person is ending... You know, is ready. If you've been dealing with this person for a little bit and they've been like a little financially discreet, I would say, I feel like this person is going to be a little bit more open. This person is going to let go of that with the um, Scorpio and the Four of Pentacles here. I feel like this person is going to get a little bit more um, maybe involved with you. Okay, so I don't know how to explain that. If you need something done around the house and they noticed it, they're going to take care of it. They're not even going to tell you. They're just going to call it in and have it done. It's kind of like that type of energy here. I feel like this person is going to be slowly releasing, um, things. They may, oh, they may try to surprise you too. Uh, so you may get something delivered here too for your birthday. All right. So if they know where you work at, they know where you live at, they're going to send something for your birthday so you guys can you know kind of expect that it may be a delay in the delivery i do see that for some of you guys but that's what i have leos happy birthdays happy birthday happy birthday uh this punk ass past person tell them to you know tell them you got a you got a big dick willie that's taking care of nilly 
All right, so or vice versa, big 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 click nilly taking care of big dick willy or whatever. So however you want to phrase it, paraphrase it. This is an adults only channel, so I should disclose that in the beginning. So if you are a minor, you should not be here. It's posted on my videos. But I love you, Leos. This is beautiful. Um, happy birthdays. You deserve this. You know, just ultimate happiness all the way around. So, love it. If you're moving, you're going to love the new house. You're going to not know what to do with yourselves. All right, you're going to be ecstatic like a little kid. If you're waiting for something to come through, it's coming through. Just be patient, okay? Your your patience is a virtue is what I'm hearing. And also, your faith is being tested, Leos. Remember to give that gratitude for the wait as well. All right, I love you guys so much. Good luck. Be on the lookout for this uh, change. Be on the lookout for this opportunity, too, that could be right in front of your face. But I love you, Leos. Take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Happy birthday. I will be back on here probably with the next 48. Um, probably in, like, a day or two. I'm going to try to knock out everybody's, like, uh, mid-monthly readings real quick. Um, so, yeah, just be on the be on the channel. Ring the bell so that way you guys get notified. Uh, Tongue-tied. When you, you can get notified when I post and ogle and or go live on this channel my goodness i cannot speak today but i love you guys leos i'm out of here take care